Perhaps they could put the white somewhere down around this yellow pocket. He'd be pretty safe. He'd be blocking the path to the red next to the yellow. But he hasn't bothered to look at that. And maybe we see John Higgins now. If he puts it down some, somewhere in the jaws of that yellow pocket, he certainly blocked the path to the boat reds. Yes, it was a lot easier before that red sprung uh -huh. up near the blue, Ken. I agree with you, but that's the only reason I think he's refusing your choice. Now the ball's in a situation, whoever pots the first red is going to have a great chance to score quite heavily. So this safety exchange now is of paramount importance to Steve Davis fans. He's going to have to win this safety battle. shot not tight to the bottom cushion as he would have liked so relatively straightforward shot for John Higgins here you see him using the bottom left hand side this could spin back behind the black that's very good tapping the table from Steve Davis an acknowledgement this is no way back to the back cushion now, he's too near the cushion, so this is the first testing safety shot that either player has had to play. All the other safety shots have been relatively straightforward to find the top cushion. This one is tough to get safe. I suppose he could risk just rolling up to the two reds that are directly in front of him, but... See, digging down on that one, I don't think you can get enough spin to get back to the back cushion, especially on these cloths, they're so fine. This is the one I was suggesting, just roll up to those two reds, but <coughs> if you're a little bit nervous and under hit or over it, yeah. you, you leave them on. Well, sometimes when you're nervous, you, your arms get very heavy. So these type of roll-ups and touch shots, we saw John Higgins try to roll up behind the green and yellow and over hit them by uh, a couple of inches. So this is very, very dangerous. He's played it well. He doesn't want to leave touching ball. If it's touching ball, this makes things very easy for John Higgins. That may even be a, Has he knocked a plant on there, will he? Is the, are those two reds a plant into this right middle? Well, if he has, it's very unlucky. John Higgins is looking at it. Very close. Well, the only way he can play it, of course, if he's bound to get onto a colour, if he's going to kiss into another red, he's, he won't play it. Here's a look on Hawkeye. Well, it certainly can be made. Now, if he tries to screw back for the black, I honestly think he'll hit the, near, the right hand jaw. If he was just running it in straight, which means he can't get onto a colour, he'd pot it. Well, he's playing the screw back. He'll do well to get onto the black from this. It's in. It's there. Oh, well played. Well, well, you've got to be honest, a little bit unlucky from Steve. He played a fabulous little roll up to the two reds, and uh, unfortunately, he's lost the safety battle. More by luck than judgment, to be perfectly honest. But John Higgins now has got an excellent chance to win this first frame. Eight. I just looked Nine. at Steve Davis's face there, just as John Higgins got that plant, he shook his head in sort of disbelief. It has to be said, it was a little bit unlucky to leave that on. Yeah, the plant wasn't there, Ken, was it? No. It's just the, he just pushed one red on to, to make the plant. It's, it's so unlucky. That went astray, but he's still got the red near the yellow spot. Sorry, John. Fifteen. This would just, you know, we'll get a chance to show you the, the shot that Steve played. He's played a little run up to the two reds and just pushed the plant on. This Sixteen. is the one, Ken, just rolling up to them. And the plant's not there. All of a sudden it is. Yeah, here you see. And it was a perfect place. And there you just see, just knocked the plant on. And that was unlucky.
If ever you needed a nerve settler, Ken, it's <laughs> the balls, when the balls are like this, isn't it? You know, when you don't have to do anything, you know you're going to get 30 or 40. I mean, a miscure or a kick is the only way you can get 30 or 40 from here. 22. Yes, it's almost like a practice session here. The way you spread the balls. All the rats on the table. I must say, commentating on the session, ses second session yesterday, I was amazed to see how many easy balls that John Higgins did miss. <laughs> Certainly wasn't very comfortable out there. Looked under a lot of pressure. Ken, when you're playing somebody that's a lot lower seed, I mean, obviously, Davis is an all time great, you're always going to get a little bit nervous when you play Steve, but you know, when you're in a no win situation sometimes, it must be a different sort of pressure. Yeah, yes, I think sure. John Virgo said yesterday maybe the fact that John Higgins thought he might have blown Steve, Steve Davis away, and probably a lot of people would have thought that, but certainly Steve Davis didn't think that way.